These are um, the elevators at the new U um, UMass Amherst Campus Center. Yeah, student union. Yeah, student union. Oh, it's got a rear door. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's two and two R? Apparently, two is two R is locked. Mm. Yeah. What kind of fixtures would you call these? I'm not sure. Try some crust. I'm looking at the interlock. Hmm. Wait for that to, to leave. Oh, no rear door this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cut light. Two nine P twenty seven nine seven. I don't see, um, it doesn't, it doesn't say how much it, it, it doesn't have a capacity. Mm. One modernized elevator at Thompson Hall. The other one is, I mean, is the, they're modernizing the other one. Or maybe this one has the older style ones. Oh. Yeah, it's That's where the old floor indicator was. I think I was here when they um, filmed it before when the with that when the indicator was up there. interlock on the way out. Mm -hmm. Can't ride the other one because you, they're either fixing or modernizing it. <laughs> what building is this? Fidelity, yeah, okay. Oh, no, it still seems chonky. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like a small freight elevator. Just as wobbly as before. This is upside down. On five is the entry floor. Normally two or one would be. And well, that. I, I caught it. Yeah. What are you looking for? Let's see if we can go through where the, it's what? Where the what is? Uh, somewhere. Capacity 2,500. 9P51. This is a pretty cool one. And then the, um, yeah, 200 feet per minute. Wow.
Give me my cap here. Classic leveling. Yep. This is the elevator at Bartlett Hall. Yeah. There's your ender lock. <laughs> the bright light kind of um, swamps the uh, over overwhelms the floor indicator. And then they need a light bulb over here. Maybe they're trying to move from this one to the tray lighting. It would be hard to get them the light bulb and there was this in the way. Hoistway access. Yeah, it's a hoistway a little. Oh, I pushed the door open button, that's why. Here's the compute. I wonder what did that. Here we are. Um, 4,000 pounds, 500 feet per minute. Or no, 50, actually. <laughs> Yeah, my zip. <laughs> 50 feet per minute is probably a good speed for that elevator. It's let it think before it shuts. There we go. This is the modern elevator at Hasbrook Lab. Going up to it or whatever, I don't know. They're attached, so. What's that sliding noise while it's moving? I don't know, it's pointing drum. Be quiet on the ride so we can uh, try to capture it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Hold on. It's what? It's uh, what you might call it. It's a winding drum. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, again, it's a little stop switching. Ooh. Are you filming? Yeah. Alright, yeah, you can feel the stop and gate switch and everything. Alright, let's take a ride. There's the interlock. Yep. What would be the gate oh, switch? What, 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 what would be the, um, the gate switch on that gated elevator we found earlier? I don't know. But they're offset by a little bit. I thought they would be side by side. Uh, there are two different types of gate switches here. Okay. That's an interlock and that's a gate switch. So okay. I don't know if this door actually locks or not.
This is a recently modernized elevator at Morrow Hall. What is Morrow Hall? Alright, Morrow Hall is the main building. Yeah. Yeah, both 2 and 2 are, and then go up to 4. It didn't used to, I don't think it, did it go up to 5 earlier? I don't know. It might open 2 and 2 are at the same time, we'll see. B should really be BR, but uh, I know there's no way to enter this because there's the one we're already doing. Oh, right outside. So it's kind of. Oh, yeah, look at it. The hallway now. It's kind of a space elevator. Yeah. As Diesel Ducey would say. Four open up. I'll inspect the yeah front. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll find another one. Now. You want to use the button panel? There, this is um, another elevator at Morrow Hall. The button, used, the panel used to be about right, right there. Yeah. There's its um, ender lock. 9P144. That's probably the material from its original number. Kind of a smallish one. You can't, can't really move the pads, or can you? That's what the wall looks like without the padding in the way. Nice handrail, or start of it, anyway. Oh, there we go. So in this elevator, it used to have the machine room within the basement, or the hydraulic room, you know, the big room. Yeah. And in the corner with the elevator shaft going up with some yeah. hydraulic ram and everything. Yes. Yeah. Really interesting setup. But I think when they redid this elevator, they fully enclosed the shaft from the machine room. Oh, I see. But if in the machine room, you would have been able to walk right up and look right up underneath the elevator. Which is dangerous. Yeah, it's going to come down all the way. There's four, we're on four. The screen does not flicker in real life. It's actually a lot brighter red. Booga booga. That's why he's gonna be very confused up here. Here's Mancap View. This is for, this is, because of the padding, it's acting like a very small freight elevator. Here's the front wall behind the pad. If the indicator was ever up there, it hasn't for a very long time. I think it's a whole new cap. Yeah, it's a whole new cap. That's why you won't see that. The cover panel. Is the thing under... No, I don't see a... Um, the, oh, no, it's down here. That's why I'm moving so slowly. What? 2,000 pound capacity, 40 feet per minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's... Oh, oh, they even have like a little door there you can open, but it will uh, shut off the unit. Oh. Oh, wait, it's actually... Oh. All right. Not there it went. New elevator at the Fine Arts Center. Yeah, B. Dover. Two thousand pounds capacity effect. About 125 feet per minute.
And so you have to put back down. Nice bell. Mm -hmm. Do her. Did the elevator just fart? Mm. I think so. Let's get it before we smell it. It needs to close first. There we go. Clonk. Large elevator at the um, finance center. Indicator is malfunctioning. Yep. And it is flippery in real life. Some of them flicker um, on camera because they're not, your camera's out of sync with the, mm -hmm. with the indicator. I can't quite reach it. Nice tray lighting anyway. They should, aside from the um, indicator malfunction, they should keep this one. Look at how wide the doors are. 